Hey friends, today's video will cover five things we don't like about living in the villages one year after moving. My husband and I moved here in April 2021. We really do like and enjoy living here even more than our previous house in Harbor Hills Lady Lake, just outside the area, but we know that the villages is not for everyone. If you want to live the retired life, you can live anywhere in the world. It's a personal choice. Anyway, let's get on to this video. Number one, we don't like the traffic and road construction in the area, especially on US 27 441 by where the Target and Kohl's, Chick-fil-A and all those in that area. This is also a positive as the construction is to widen the roads to alleviate the number of vehicles. The traffic can be bad at times, especially during the winter months when seasonal residents are in town. Still, the traffic is nothing like that in Orlando, on I-4, or Atlanta, Georgia, if you know what I mean. Number 2. Businesses close early. Most shops and restaurants close at 9pm, some even earlier than that. The Town Square nightly entertainment ends at 9pm. Here, I'm showing you business hours of several places around Spanish Springs. Generally, seniors go to bed early and that may be why. Hey, we try to go to bed early too since we still work full time. However, there are a handful of restaurants that are open past 9pm like Chili's and Applebee's on 441. Moving on to number 3. The Villages is not a true gated community. The gate attendant allows any vehicle in. The manned gate houses are there to control the flow of traffic, so there's typically two sides when driving up into a group of villages. The left side is for visitors, or both, residents and visitors, and the right side for residents where we use a car that brings up the metal bar. On the upside, the villages has a community watch who serve the community by keeping a watchful eye 24-7, 365 days a year. The 24-hour gate operations staff views and monitors cameras for 120 plus gates throughout the district among other functions. They also work closely with local law enforcement. This means the community watch vehicle roams around the neighborhoods several times a day. Number 4. We don't like the constant construction. This applies mostly to the new sections of the villages which is in the southern area heading towards Orlando. Although there are a few new constructions happening as well, like at this corner in Spanish Springs. The villages continues to expand building neighborhoods after neighborhoods and there seems to be no end in sight. Another consideration is that if you choose a neighborhood in the southern newer area of the villages, near the Florida Turnpike, which is a major highway, you may hear the traffic of this busy highway. The fifth thing we don't like about living in the villages is that the houses are built very close to each other. Some call it a postage stamp because the lots are pretty small. Of course we knew that before we bought our house now. Here are clips of some courtyard villas as well as bungalows in Lake Sumter Landing. In the courtyard villas, the boundary line is a little over 5 feet to both sides of the house unless you are in a corner lot. Still, the houses are pretty well made and well maintained, and as you can see, most residents do take great care of their property. Here I'm showing you the lovely houses in my favorite neighborhood called Lakeside Cottages. So there's only a handful of things we don't like about living here. I had to think all week and Habi and I had a couple of conversations in order to come up with the 5 things we don't like. Make sure you subscribe because in the next video we will talk about reasons we like about living here and we have lots of good reasons. Also check out our playlist all about our life here and if you enjoyed this video or found some value, please share with your friends, comment and smash the like button. Until next time, my name is Grace Joy, have courage and be kind.